It Takes Two was an absolutely incredible experience to to play, especially because uh, the plot, which is about a husband and wife who are on the verge of getting a divorce, have to go through stages working together and essentially figure out what has been making their relationship not work. And what was kind of funny was one of the arguments that had popped up during the game was almost word for word one that I had with my wife. Now, mind you, we thankfully have never been as far uh, down that road, but, you know, married couples do have arguments and fights. Um, Seeing this game where you have to work together to get through was pretty interesting. Um, And plot wise, that was kind of neat having a very interesting take. Um, So I'll, I'll just say the platforming was very polished it was very good and what was really neat was basically every stage there was a new gimmick that you had to figure out as you went along it wasn't just simply you're doing the same thing every single stage um so like one stage you have a uh, hammerhead and you have nails and you've got a platform using both of these abilities on another stage you have one person who's got a uh rocket launcher and another person who's got a sap gun um and you have to work together because you have to hit the enemies with both and it was very interesting and a lot of the music was pretty good um i really liked the um synth wave music towards the end of the game on the um music themed area but um overall like some stages was okay um But what was neat was you didn't know what you were going to be coming across as you went through the entire game. Um, And as far as Dr. Hakeem goes, um, he was definitely a little disturbing right off the bat. But by the end, you kind of respected him because all that that book was trying to do was patch their relationship. Um, And I will say, both of the parents are terrible people at the beginning of the game and it takes <coughs> bless me i'm sorry um, it takes until midway through the game before they actually start to become better people and at that point it's uh you know that's when the game really started picking up and um my wife and i very much enjoyed the game um there were some bosses i kind of wish there was a couple more um but the clock tower boss was probably the best one in the game it was also the most insane um and other bosses like the tool chest or the vacuum they were fun um you had to learn how to fight them as you went along um but uh overall i would say that if you're married you should definitely play this game with your significant other or if you're, you know, in a serious relationship, because it might help just impart a couple lessons here and there that could help out you with your relationship. Um, but other than that, um, I mean, it's a fun game, but if you don't have somebody close, I don't know how well playing online with some random person would be. I think it's better to play together on the same in, in the same room because you actually have that connection and that's kind of what the game is going for um i definitely would look forward to seeing what this team makes next because the platforming was incredible and if they were to do another game that is similar maybe with a different kind of theme or whatever but uh similar with platforming it would be great because that was probably the best part of the whole thing was just all the platforming and how polished it was and how every area was so different. I keep saying that, but that's like the big thing about the game. And, um, you know, there was a, I call it the, uh, the death star run when you had to fly through the inside of a tree, uh, dodging different things. And it straight up was like star Wars. Um, so that was a lot of fun and I would highly, highly recommend playing this game if you're in a relationship if you're if you're not you know it'll still be a fun game but i don't think it'll have the same emotional hit uh as if you're actually you know in a relationship with someone but uh i would probably say it's an eight or maybe 8.5 out of 10 very good game